Today on MTG Unpacked, it's mail time. So we've got a bunch of mail to get through. We've got Nicole Bolas here to oversee the openings here. So we have mail from MTG Unsealed, Exotic MTG, Chuckwagon MTG, and the man formerly known as Tragic the Garnering, now known as Tragic MTG. I'll talk more about him in a moment. All right, so let's get stuck into it. We'll start off here with Exotic MTG. So if you have not checked out his channel, fantastic stuff there. I'll leave a link in the description for this video so you can check that out. Opens a ton of different stuff, has lots of different giveaways. Very cool. Let's see if I can open this up. Very well packed here. Okay, so things are stuck together. Alright, so we'll get the cards out of the packs here. Without further ado, let's get stuck into it. What do we have today from Exotic MTG? We have a Territorial Beloth, Royal Mages Trick, so what is this, uh, BFZ, Dutiful Return, Silent Skimmer, Evolving Wilds and an Eldrazi Scion token. These guys are pretty cool. And a Swamp. Full Art Swamp. Very cool. Alright, so it looks like he's been opening some BFZ. And Ultimate Masters, we have a Satyr Wayfinder. Just the Wind. Cathodian. Shielding Plax. Raid Bombardment. Angelic Renewal. Oh, nice! Rare Maelstrom Pulse. Sorcery for three in the Golgari colors. Destroy target non land permanent and all other permanents with the same name as that permanent. Very cool. And a Wave Wing Elemental. Okay, so back to BFC. Tajuru Beastmaster. Scour from Existence, Inspired Charge, Seek the Wilds, another Eldrazi Scion, and a Full Art Mountain. Alright, so pretty cool. That's the Patron Rewards from Exotic MTG for this month. Alright, moving right along. Let's see what the Chuck Wagon has for us today. And see if my envelope opening skills will improve. Apparently not. Alright, make sure we've got everything there. And of course, I like to uh, have a look at his letter here. Here's a nice thank you letter. Includes in every envelope. So if you've not checked out Chuckwagon MTG, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description for this video. All manner of cool openings, and he does um, some deck techs and other stuff. I'm having trouble getting into this. How has he stuck this down? Okay. This is an intelligence test, and I think I have failed miserably. Yes, okay. So very secure packing. I'll give him that. Oh, there we go. Okay, packs going flying. Let's get stuck into it here. Oh, is that? That looks like a foil, or maybe not. That is a foil. Okay, we've got a couple of foils here. So let's get this out and show off the shininess. If I can get in here. Okay, so he's got a couple of cards in here. And we've got some more shinies here in the sleeves. Alright, let's take a look at what we got here. We have Rally to Battle. So that's pretty cool. Nice foil there. Ravnica Allegiance. And the Swamp. 
And what is that symbol there? I really like the artwork on this one. Is that, what is it, time, time shift or something? Leave a note in the comments if you recognize that symbol. And a foil from M10, Unholy Strength. Enchantment Aura for a single black enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus one. Some very nice foiling on that one. All right, let's go through the rest of the cards here. We have a Wave Skimmer Avon. Maximize Velocity. Oblivion Ring. What is this, M13? Very cool. Boiling Earth. Storm Strike. Silvic Life Staff. Scars of Meriden, okay. He's got all sorts of stuff this month. June Beetle. Weirded Vampire. I love the artwork on that one. It's uh, very unusual. From Eldritch Moon. Warped Landscape. Cerule Gatekeepers. Timur Sabretooth. And a rare Crypt Breaker. Creature Zombie. 1-1 one, one for a single black. Play one in black, tap, discard a card, put a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. Tap three untapped zombies you control, you get to draw a card, and you lose one life. That's pretty cool artwork on that one. And Biomancer's Familiar, creature mutant, 2-2 two, two for two. Activated abilities of creatures you control cost two less to activate. This fit can't reduce the amount of mana and ability cost to activate to less than one mana. Okay, tap. Next time target creature adapts this turn, it adapts as though it had no plus one, plus one counters on it. And a Rick Smarty Reveler. Very cool creature, Human Shaman, 2-2 two, two for two, Spectacle 2, and Rakdos Colors, so that's black and red. You may cast a spell for its Spectacle cost rather than its mana cost if an opponent lost life this turn, so you want to trigger that if you can. When Rick Smarty Reveler enters the battlefield, discard a card, then draw a card. If Rick Smarty Reveler's spectacle cost was paid, instead discard your hand, then draw three cards. I have to check, I thought that might have been a foil, but nope. Urgitai Soul of Winter from Fate Reforge. Legendary Creature Dragon 5647. Like the uh, use of color on that one. Flying and Vigilance. Whenever a dragon you control attacks, tap target non land permanent and opponent controls. That permanent doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Alright, so that is it from Chuck Wagon MTG this month. Very cool, very happy to be a patron. Next up we have MTG Unsealed. Well, let's get stuck into it here. Okay, so we've got some cards taped down. And in a sleeve, okay, there we go. All right, let's get started here. We have a Growth Chamber Guardian, Creature Elf Crab Warrior, 2-2 two, two for 2. Pay two and a green, adapt two, so if this creature has no plus one, plus one counters on it, put two plus one, plus one counters on it, and whenever one or more plus one, plus one counters are put on Growth Chamber Guardian, you may search a library for a card named Growth Chamber Guardian, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Got this uh, dirty big elf crab dude here. Taser Karlov, legendary creature, human advisor, two four for four. Very cool, Magali Villeneuve artwork. If a creature dying causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Creature tokens you control have Vigilance and Lifelink. Love that artwork. Kaya's Wrath, Sorcery for four. Destroy all creatures. You gain life equal to the number of creatures you controlled that were destroyed this way. And Gruel Spellbreaker, which to me looks suspiciously like the Hulk, although not the Hulk from Endgame, you know what I mean. Uh, creature Ogre Warrior 3-3 three, three for 3 has Riot. So this creature enters the battlefield with your choice of a plus one plus one counter or haste. Has Trample, as long as it's your turn, you and Gruel Spellbreaker have Hexproof. There he is, very cool. Alright, so that is it from MTG Unsealed. Alright, check his channel out. I'll leave that 
link in the description for this video. Okay, so here we have Tragic the Garnering. If you have not already, uh, I should say Tragic MTG, you should subscribe to his channel. Oh, whoa, we've got a pack here. It's interesting. Yeah, so he opens all sorts of stuff. He likes the Goodwill auctions. He sorts through cards, speeds things up, and it's just totally addictive and fascinating seeing what stuff he pulls. He's uh, tallying up the value throughout the video so you can see if he got hosed or if he did well. So that is pretty cool. All right, what do we have from Tragic today? We've got an unstable booster pack. Looks like we've got some goblins here. <laughs> he did it. He he has said several times he'd send me some uh, things for my throat lozenges with the goblins. So I'm assuming that means I need to make the goblin voice for each of these. We'll see how we go. Let's take a look at the letter. Empty jam packed. <laughs> Here's some lozenges to help you through unpacking these old school goblins. And here's a pack of unstable to open. Hope you get something crazy from Tragic. All right, so I'll leave a link to his channel in the description for this video. Keep these on standby, I may need them. Okay, so can't remember if I blessed the pack with Nicole Bolas, but there we go. Let's get stuck into it, see what craziness we pull here. And then we'll get stuck into those gobos. Okay, what do we have? We have a mother kangaroo. That's hilarious. Riveting rigger. Merman. Go to jail. Big boa constrictor. So we're getting an awful lot of these host creatures. We don't have any of the uh, tail ends yet. It that gets left hanging. Creature Elemental Horror. Okay, so this is about the high five. No Made Engine, another host creature. Secret Base. Uncommons, we have Sly Spy. Goblin Haberdasher, Creature Goblin Hatterfisser. Okay, two, two for three. Oh, I'm going to need those lozenges. Has Menace, other creatures you control, wearing hats in their art, have Menace. <laughs> Pretty cool. And a half shark, half something. So you just know I'm going to have to do that. And the rare is Grisilda Monster Masher. Charming, legendary creature, zombie villain, 4-4 four, four for 5. Combi What's that? Combined, enchanted and equipped creatures you control have Menace. Okay. Pay three in a black and red, tap, put two target creature cards from graveyards onto battlefield, combined into one creature under your control. Power is equal to their total power, its toughness is equal to their total toughness, and it has their names, mana cost types, text boxes, etc. Okay. And a nice full art mountain with a Oaken Power Suit. Okay, so that's a rare artifact contraption. Whenever you crank Oaken Power Suit target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. An Auto Key, another contraption. And a Foil Thopter. Nice foilage on that. Alright, so you just know I have to do this. So this is great fun. We have a Half Shark, Half Kangaroo. Isn't the mo that the most hilarious thing you've ever seen? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, enough silliness. Let's get stuck into the goblins. Have these on standby. Oh boy. Mr. Tragic, what have you done, sir? What? How many goblins are in here? Oh, and if you have not checked out a goblin video already, I'll leave a link up in the corner there. You can check that out. Showed the Goblin album and Cracked a Pack of Tempest. Showed you my uh, Goblin deck. A uh, bunch of other stuff. Some graded cards. So very cool. Okay, here we go. Goblin War Chief. Creature Goblin. 2-2 two, two for 3. Goblin spells you play. Cost 1 less to play. Goblins you control. Have haste. Look at that dude. That is a Goblin if ever I saw one. 
Next up we have Goblin Warstrike. Sorry. Goblin Warstrike Sorcery for a single red. It does damage to the number of goblins you control to target player. Fire, aim, ready. Gotta remember the goblin voice. Goblin Warren's enchantment for three. Pay two and a red, sap two goblins, put three goblin tokens into play. Treat these tokens as 1-1 one, one red creatures. Goblins spread underground, the numbers hidden from the enemy until it was too late. Serpadian Empires, Volume 4. There we are. <laughs> this is crazy. I have not seen that one before. So, yeah, I think he was looking for stuff that wasn't in the Goblin album. So I'm betting a bunch of these are not there. Next up, we have a... Goblin Matron Summon Goblin 1-1 one, one for 3. When Goblin Matron comes into play, you may search your library for a Goblin card. If you do, reveal that card, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library afterward. <coughs> okay. And another one. Goblin Matron Creature Goblin 1-1 one, one for 3. Are those... okay. Different things on the symbols down there on the Power and Toughness. When Goblin Matron comes into play, you may search your library for a Goblin card. If you do, reveal that card, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library afterward. There we are, another Goblin Matron. How many pieces of artwork are there with the Goblin Matron? Leave a note in the comments if you're aware of any more. I'm not sure what that set symbol is either. I know the previous one was Urza's. Okay, next up we have a Goblin Recruiter. Summon Goblin 1-1 one, one for 2 when Goblin Recruiter comes into play. Search your library for any number of Goblin cards. Reveal those cards to all players, shuffle your library, then put the cards on top of your library in any order. Next! Look at the face on these things. Craziness. Okay. Goblin Lackey. I think I've seen this guy before. Summon Goblin 1-1 one, one for a single red. Whenever Goblin Lackey successfully deals damage to a player, you may choose a Goblin card in your hand and put that Goblin into play. All bark, someone else's bite. That is a true Goblin's Goblin. Get a load of that face. Fantastic dental work there. Look at that. All right. Finally, I think... Fi oh, finally, thank heavens. We have a Goblin Bomb enchantment for a single... Not for a single, for two. Okay. During your upkeep, I think the goblins have rotted my brain. It's one of the perils of goblin cards. During your upkeep, you may choose to flip a coin. Target opponent calls heads or tails while the coin is in the air. If the flip ends up in your favour, put a fuse counter on goblin bomb. Otherwise, remove a fuse counter from goblin bomb. And remove five fuse counters from goblin bomb. Sack it. And it deals 20 damage to target player. Craziness. All right, so thank you very much, Tra Tragic MTG. <coughs> Having trouble with the voice now. Thank you for that, and the lozenges will come in handy. Okay, so there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.